Well, it looks like Hillary Clinton is now on the run from Tulsi Gabbard. <laughs> Woo, this is about to be good. Let's talk about it. So, according to the Daily Mail UK, Hillary Clinton has officially backed out of an event she was supposed to be speaking at while Tulsi Gabbard, uh, or excuse me, an event that Tulsi Gabbard was also supposed to be speaking at, um, but she backed out of it. She backed out of it. Now, this event was, is upcoming and she backed out of it, not yesterday morning, not last week, but roughly around 6, 6.30 after the explosion happened, where Tulsi Gabbard called her out directly by name and got like 70,000 likes on her tweet <laughs> in like 17 minutes. And that's not an exaggeration. Her tweet is roughly at like, what, 200,000 or something like that, 240,000. Now, this is even crazier because I'm going to tell you what event she backed out of in a second. Let's check out this article from the Daily Mail. Now, it says that Clinton is backed out of a speaking appearance at an event where Gabbard was scheduled to speak. Now, Clinton has canceled her upcoming appearance at Fortune's Most Powerful Woman Summit next week in Washington, D.C. As far as her words, oh, just as her war of the words with Hawaii uh, Congresswoman is escalating, with the Hawaiian Congress, she they, it was a typo there with the Hawaiian Congresswoman. So just as her war of the wars with the Hawaiian Congresswoman has escalated, according to Slate, Gabbard 38 blasted Clinton as queen of the warmongers in her response in response to the 2016 losers allegation uh, and remains scheduled to headline the events program on Tuesday. Oh, she's a headliner. That makes it so much better. So Hillary Clinton's going to speak at an event that Tulsi was the headliner for? Oh, that is just lovely. Oh, man, that's awesome. Here's where it gets better. A Clinton confidant tried to tamp down the speculation that Gabbard was the reason Clinton canceled, insisting that it was actually... Uh, that she actually backed out of the event because former Department of Homeland Security Secretary Kirsten uh, Nielsen was on the schedule. Now, if you don't know what Kirsten, ne Kirsten Nielsen is, apparently, according to Slate, she was the one who started putting kids in cages during the Obama administration. Yeah. So she wants to try and convince us that the reason she isn't attending an event is because she has suddenly developed developed empathy towards kids that were being put in cages and yet had absolutely nothing to say about Secretary Kirsten or Obama during the entire time she served as Secretary of State or after. You had no problem with this woman. How convenient. And you, 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 so you're, it's the, it's the playbook, y'all. It's the PR damage control playbook. Let me say I'm avoiding it because of an issue connected to Trump. Not because I'm a punk ass that's trying to avoid getting dragged by Tulsi Gabbard because she knows better than anyone else at this point. Tulsi is not just going to look at you and pretend like it's all good. It's not how she is. And... While they, while sitting side are standing side by side in an event, by the way, that Tulsi is supposed to be headlining, she would be asked question on question on question. Tulsi would be asked ask a bunch of questions too. But guess what? The difference is Tulsi ain't afraid to stand by what she says, whereas Hillary Clinton has always been known for hiding. And these are the facts. So, I'm just curious for those resistors out there. What exactly, like, do you, this, is your, this is your champion? This is your queen running from a congresswoman who has 1% chance of winning? This is your queen? Come on. Let's be real. And it's funny because what does Hillary Clinton have to lose by showing up? If anything, it boosts her profile. But you're 
you're ignoring an event dedicated to the most powerful woman in the world. Uh, uh, an event that's supposed to in, empower women to show the strength of these women. And when you're finally encountered with a woman strong enough to stand up to your punk ass, you run away. Well, that just probably shows you shouldn't have been at the conference to begin with, huh? I bet. <laughs> you a punk, Hillary? Ah, this is hilarious. So uh, normally my videos aren't this short, but because we have so much news to get out uh, and I'm waiting on obviously updates and reports from social media and the news, but also waiting on updates and reports from the campaign as well. So I'm trying to get things out as quickly as possible. As y'all can see, I had to go get a new floral pattern shirt to celebrate, you know, Tulsi putting Hillary in the dirt. So um, normally they're not this short, but gonna be this short, that short today because we have a lot of news to break going forward today. So make sure you subscribe and always remember more than anything else, people. Find your balance. Peace. Hey, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you like that segment of Mikasa Sukasa. Also, you can help us upgrade the studio and take this show on the road to cover the on the ground politics that you love by clicking on that GoFundMe link in the description and donating literally anything. Anything helps. Also, you can follow us on Rockfin, on Twitter, and on Facebook as well. And hey, more than anything else, people, always remember, find your balance. Peace.